The Minister of Sport may be calling on the national governing body of hockey to step up. Hockey Canada, the whole country is watching. But now a parliamentary committee has learned her government department knew about an accusation of sexual assault when it was first investigated four years ago. They could have stopped this. Sport Canada needs to own this as much as Hockey Canada. That allegation, a woman says she was sexually assaulted in London, Ontario by eight former hockey players, including some members of the 2018 World Junior Team. Sport Canada officials told the committee they've known since 2018, but they never told the minister's office and they never checked back with Hockey Canada. It is profoundly disturbing to me to see that uh, in a case of a serious, serious sexual assault, that it's unclear what the follow-up was. Also under scrutiny today, the lawyer hired by Hockey Canada four years ago to do an independent investigation. Now back to look into the allegation for them again. Players who do not take part, she says, will be banned from Hockey Canada and named publicly. The goal of the investigation is to uncover the truth. London police, too, have reopened their investigation into the alleged assault. This says more calls come for an overhaul of the organization, this time from former NHLer and sexual abuse survivor Sheldon Kennedy. I would like to see the resignation of uh, the CEO of Hockey Canada, Scott Smith, the leadership group and the board of directors of Hockey Canada. I think to get real change, to get the culture change that we need, um, we need fresh ideas. Sport Canada was asked why it waited until the spring when the accusations became public to pull its financial support for Hockey Canada. An official says it didn't want sports organizations to avoid looking into accusations within their own ranks over fear that they might lose funding. Marina von Stackelberg, CBC News, Ottawa.